little more convenient. But I also know that the NBA is a selected fraternity. I know that too. Just because people don't make the NBA don't mean that they can't play and they ain't on that level either. Because I'm going to say this. Shout out to Jalen Barford, straight up out of Arkansas University, who went to Jackson Southside in Jackson, Tennessee. Check this out. And for those who don't know, those from Jackson, Tennessee, going to testify to this. Jalen Barford, they didn't give Jalen Barford a fair shake in the draft. Or in, when it was time to go to the little summer league team, they wouldn't even put him in the game. So some would say, man, he can't ball. When he goes to the G League, they would only give him 10 to 15 minutes. Guess what he averaged in those 10 to 15 minutes? Look. 17 points a game, but never got a call up in the NBA. But other players who didn't even average that in the G League got a call up. This is what I'm saying. Everybody who watching this that's a real hooper and a real baller know that this nigga right here tripping. Huh? It take more to get to the NBA than just talent. You feel me? Sometimes niggas might be, you got a Pol bad attitude. Pol Sometimes Pol niggas might uh, be on drugs and shit and they keeping that shit under wraps down low. Maybe the nigga was an alcoholic or abusive or something or stayed in trouble or something. You know what I'm saying? If you got the talent, nigga, and you way around it, you going you they gonna find you, nigga, and you gonna make it to the. You league. said it's not. You said you said you it's talking not about he putting about up seventeen points, but what if he missing curfew at night? What if he not re, re, uh, responding well to the team policies? What if he not? It's a it's a whole bunch of that go into into this fam. It ain't just he can hoop. There's plenty of niggas can hoop. What if a nigga can hoop, but he on he can't run it? He can't remember the plays on the court. He can remember. We them. had a nigga like uh, we had a nigga like that. Uh, no disrespect, my nigga was hooping. My nigga Orlando's bone. You remember bone? I know bone. Bone can hoop his ass out, but yeah. guess what? Bone couldn't remember the plays. But that's so when he get in the game, if that nigga if he wide open for a shot or something, he gonna bust your ass. But he throw the chemistry of the team off because he don't know where to go. When Nick comes set the pick, he don't know he's supposed to go left or he's supposed to go right. But you gotta know the plays, fam. But you can't say that you can't use that in this instance, cause look. I'm just saying it'd be a little shit like that. I though. get that, but look, once you If he ain't go, it's a reason why he ain't go. That's all politics. That's a part of it. I'm just saying it's so a part of you it. can't say it's not just talent. It ain't just talent. It's a lot that go into it. Cause if if you don't suit the politics of it, you I don't care how much talent you got, you ain't going. You could be the coldest dude to ever shoot a basketball. If you ain't with the politics of the game, you're not going to the NBA. I disagree. Uh, you disagree with that? Uh, in, in, in my opinion, the NFL is the same. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my boy Marshawn Lynch, you know what I'm saying? He went against the whole grain. They couldn't stop him because of his talent. They just had to do it. He followed the rules, though, but he followed it by his way. They said, you got to speak at the press conference because at first he wasn't even talking. But they just kept finding him every time. You know what I'm saying? But he would show up. So he, he started showing up. He said, I'm just here so I don't get fined. He followed the guidelines. He did everything his way. They couldn't stop him because his tactics. He didn't do he everything did. his way. Most of the time he did. Look, man. If you ain't it's like AI. AI did it. AI, the one made it cool to wear warm-ups and shit in the... Embrace and shit and get the tat get your tattoos and shit. You feel what I'm and, saying? And look what kind of ridicule AI went. I'm saying though, sometimes it that what it take if that what you you know what I'm saying. But, but I'm, if you ain't that caliber you, of a player, they look, send a, If AI you know, didn't they can go perform, find another nigga that can score 17 points. Alright, check this out. I'ma say this since you brought up AI. If AI would have had them at that time, if AI would have had them cornrows and them tattoos at Georgetown, which he probably wouldn't even been able to play, he wouldn't have made it. He could have been putting up them same points with them cornrows and them tattoos. He wouldn't have been in the league. And I said it. With as much talent as AI was, AI was a bad boy. If he'd have had them tattoos and them braids at that point before he went to the NBA, he wouldn't have went. Do you, do you ever hoop? Yeah. You, you played ball back in the day? Yeah. Who you playing for? What they got to do with this? I'm just asking the question. Did you oh, hoop? Man. Who you playing for? Don't worry about all that. Look, I played for Tiny. Look, 
rapping that shit. Got the hat on. You feel me? I'm a tiny ram. I play for tiny. Okay. Who you play for? What's your point, man? See what I'm saying? See how what see they what gotta do with the conversation. You see what I'm I saying? I play organized basketball. Yes. At the center for the who for the school. For? I ain't playing high school, but I played for the school. Okay. All right. Did you try it in high school? No, nah, I was gonna try it, but I got hurt. Then my father passed. So I got you. I got you. I understand. Yeah. I understand. But that, I'm just trying to catch, check, check your background on. Oh, I, I, I admit, man. I'm trying to say what, what you know, because what you see is like you have, I see it all the time. You have a little league coach. This nigga ain't never played football a day in his nah, life. Nah, this ain't something I'm talking about nigga, that you know I don't what I'm know. So I just want to see. Yeah, yeah. I know, know I know a hooper from a non-hooper. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And I know, I know when the politics involved, too. Yeah, everybody knows it's politics, but that's a part of the game. You feel me? Some people, like I said, with Allen Iverson, if he would have had those same cornrows, kind of go back and look at his career. When he got to the when he got to the league, he didn't have no tattoos, he didn't have no braids. Then when he got the braids and the tattoos, he was already in the league then, so that's when they they they, they put a target on him. Yep. Then the man, something happened to the man friend with the practice incident, and they blowed that out of proportion because he was upset. So they made a, a spectacle of that man. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is for years on years, man, you know, these folks, they try to uh, downsize and ostracize black people, meaning they'll tell you that having nappy hair is bad or having cornrows is bad or having this is bad or... Saying shit is bad. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> They'll try to put all this stuff on you. You feel me? When in reality, you know what I'm saying? Why would your hair grow if it wasn't meant for it to grow? You I mean, know what I'm saying? I'm like, with it. But so, I mean, why would I know the word? Like I said in the other, when we talk, why would I know the word shit if it wasn't meant for me to be able to use that motherfucker? You feel me? Word is a word. They, I, I feel like they use it for a loophole on how to control shit, bro. Because you can. You can tell the truth with them words. With motherfucking shit and bitch, I can I can explicitly tell the truth. You feel me? So they try to limit how you tell the truth, fam. You feel what I'm saying? And they'll downplay it to make you sound like you stupid. Then when I say Michael Jordan is the motherfucking goat, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. This is see how that sounded. This, this is the new. This Michael Jordan is the motherfucking goat. Look, oh, okay. I can't me, say Michael Jordan is a pretty good ball player. Let Which me, one sound better? Let me make this statement because I can't be here and hear that and not retort. I know this is inspired by Michael Jordan, so I know that's your boy. That's my dog. So check this out. Michael Jordan is not the greatest basketball player to ever play in the NBA. I said it. I said it. Okay. Who is? If you asking that by looking at this, Lou Al Cinder, aka Kareem Abdul. Oh, you talking about the one who changed his name too? Just like you was just talking about Tupac. We talking about. We talking. How about, can he be the realest if he changed his name? I ain't say the you realest. You just said that about Tupac. I ain't say the realest. But Tupac can't change his go. name. Here we go. Lou Al Cinder. The I said the, Kareem I said the can greatest. Can change his name. What they got the to What they, what they got to do? How he going to be the greatest? He can't even. Michael Jordan, that's the name he was born with. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. That's okay. the name his mama gave him. What, what's that's that? why what he they the greatest. Do? That's he why he the greatest? He had to change his name to the no, smart no, country no, versus. No, no, no. Because look. Man. And, okay. What did Michael Jordan. We saying the greatest, right? That's what we talking about. What did Michael Jordan do on the high school level? I'll wait. What did he do on the high school level? Yeah. He wasn't doing the politics right. You just know about that. You just said that yourself. Okay. He won politics right. He said that, not me. But to be the greatest, you got to have, you got to, it's based on body of work, right? No, we talking about the greatest in the NBA, not the greatest in high school. No, you said the greatest player of all time. The so greatest in high school is T-Head from Memphis, nigga. That's the greatest in high school. High school? Yes, nigga. Ever? Ever, nigga. <laughs> T-Head in Memphis, the greatest score. I'm talking about in high school history. Ever. The nigga scored 100 and something before anybody was putting up 100 and something, nigga. And okay. the nigga wasn't done in any 6-1, nigga. Five, 
Ten, nigga, six feet. Nigga, put up. Were you there? Man, y'all get in Were the... you there? I got the tape, nigga. <laughs> yes, I saw it, nigga. I got the tape. BTW, nigga. And up the chat. BTW. That what I just said. Okay, check this out. How I know that. I got the tape. My nigga Mario gave me the tape. Mario, you know what I'm talking about, nigga. He gave me the tape. I so, saw the game. So, the, so the, not to get off track. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, you said we he, Did he score 100 in high school? Now, nah, you talking but, about the NBA? He that tall and couldn't score 100? You talking about the NBA? Oh, I thought we was putting together a body of work. That nah, was you, nah, so nah, nah, going, I, I want to okay. make my point. The greatest player to ever play in the, the NBA, NBA okay. is Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Way, way special, nigga. Why ain't got no lifetime special? Michael Jordan just. Because he's Michael not. Jordan. Nigga, the NBA was over with. They had to put Michael Jordan back on the scene to. What the re what's this? The last dance, nigga. They put the last dance out to keep the NBA going. If Kareem was the greatest, why he didn't why they didn't go do the Kareem special for on Netflix to keep the NBA going for the last dance? They, did. they chose Michael Jordan. Why? Because he is the greatest. No, they chose Michael Jordan. The reason you think like other people think that Michael Jordan is the greatest player they ever played in the NBA. Say. He finna say some more because he's the most marketable player. Well, I knew it. I already know that. For that one, one I always say Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, body of work outplays Mike in the NBA. Kareem was marketable too. He was on that living color. He was on Martin. All that shit. Did you, you watch Martin or in living color for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? No, but Did he was know. on there. Prove my point. But I'm saying he might if you, you had commercials and if shit. They, if they put Michael Jordan, they put Michael Jordan in Space Jam, right? Mm -hmm. You watched it just cause he was in it. So come on, man. So body of work. What did Mike do in the NBA? Win, nigga. Kareem won. Not like Mike though. What you mean not like Mike? He ain't do it like Mike did. What you mean? With the with the nigga, the just the antics in the motherfucking Chewing the gum, nigga, the tongue out, nigga. The flare. He won. He won. The flare, nigga. He won. No, nah, man, he ain't do it. The flu, the nigga had the flu. The nigga had the flu. Did you see the lat nigga when it when he got uh Brian Russell, nigga? Made that nigga fall on the, He pushed him. He pushed him. Everybody in the world saw he pushed that man. He ain't pushing. On the war words, you you saw it. You saw the tape. He didn't push it. A push is a push. He, he had his him. hand on him. He had his hand on him, but his momentum. He pushed him. He didn't push him, man. Why you need to put your hand on the man? Momentum. His momentum was going. Watch out, sorry ass nigga. I'm finna win. <laughs> he Bow, nigga. He pushed him. So I guess he kicked Craig Elo too. After he shot on him and then jumped up and did the kick. And Craig Elo tried to look, fall like he got look, kicked. Man. He fell because his feelings was hurt. Because they thought they had it. If and I it wasn't but a no .7 Craig left. Elo. Nigga, uh, Craig Elo nickname was Eggs. Don't nobody care nothing about no Craig. It don't matter. Jordan waxed his ass on that last Michael shot. Nigga, Jordan then jumped up and did not it. the greatest. This nigga jumped player up and said, Yeah, ever do it. And the mm -hmm. NBA. Look at Kareem's body of work. Come on. Who's man. the who's the all time leading scorer? So in the NBA? Kareem the greatest. Who's the if, all time leading? If Kareem the greatest, NBA? why I ain't seen you can't go turn on ESPN right now and see one nigga do no hook shot. <laughs> That's you marketing. ain't gonna see it. We talking about marketing. You ain't gonna see it. Cause we it's, talk, it's hard to do. I'll wait. It's hard to do. That's why everybody ain't doing it. It's a dumb shot. How it don't do work it? no more. He's the all time. It don't work score. no more. It worked back in the day on some old it, it'll work, shit. It'll work now. Why they ain't doing it then? Cause they can't do it. You just proved my point. They can't do it. They ain't doing it cause it's they garbage. They doing the Euro step. They do, still doing the fadeaway that Jordan brought to the game. He brought it to the game. He made it. He made it what it is today. He, he hold up, hold up, hold up. He perfected it. So he didn't. Break. Jordan was not the first nigga to shoot a fadeaway, Thank but you. he is the nigga that perfected. Thank it. you. He got it down to a science, nigga. Look, man, Michael Jordan is not the greatest player they ever played in the NBA. I ain't got. I ain't even got the argument on this. We're gonna. And they the changed coming. the rules to help him. They ch changed the rules to hurt Kareem. They changed the rules. They outlaw slam dunk when Kareem was playing. That's how he came up with the hook shot. Do your research. Y'all, I'm sick of this, Michael. I ain't saying Michael Jordan can't play. Right, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. But don't tell me he's the greatest to ever play the game. 
He's the most marketable player of all time. Didn't Jordan beat him? Beat who? Kareem. In when they went to the first championship. No, sir. Well, against the Pistons. No, the first championship was against the Lakers. Mm -hmm. And for the record, on that Lakers team, Kareem was not on it. Oh, okay. And also, what I'm asking. What also I'm for the record, you older than me. I don't know. James <laughs> Worthy and Byron Scott was both hurt in that that playoff series. What they got to do with anything? They won that full screen. Man, I don't want to hear that. The oh, game yeah. is the game. Oh, you don't want to hear that. Jordan had the flu. See what I'm saying? Ain't Niggas got to make excuses. Man, come on, I ain't making excuses. Nigga, Jordan had I'm the flu. Jordan had the flu. That nigga still got out there, man. There ain't no damn excuse. Oh, I got hurt. Man, nobody want to hear that shit. I got hurt. Man, come on. We playing, man. Let's go. That what, that what real winners do. That what Jordan on. You feel me? Jordan. If they put a new logo on it, you can go to college right now. Ain't no nigga got no hook shot on their jersey. They got Jordan signs on their jersey. Man. He, he proven, go. He's proving he my point. Go. So you gonna tell me Jerry West was more marketable than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? He I, on the jersey in the NBA. Obviously he was. He on the jersey in the NBA. Obviously he was. Come on, man. Yeah. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm I pick Shaq over Kareem. We talking about body of work. I'm gonna pick Shaq over Kareem. Body of work. I'm picking Shaq over Kareem. That's you. Body give work. me Shaq. If I had to pick one on my team, give me Shaq. And you gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be in trouble. He, he gonna come with that. He'll be hurt by the first quarter, man. We, man, come on, man. Come you on, do man. know, you do know, Kareem helped Shaq. He Shaq had a little baby hook, which was taught to him by Kareem. Hey. Come on, man. That like he says, on Lil Mo Films, he want the facts. Those are the facts. Quit playing, bro. I'm just trying to tell you, dog. I'm just leaving it. I'm leaving it to the fans right now. I'm leaving it to y'all. Y'all getting to come in and answer this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Jordan, a motherfucking Kareem, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, and do it based on... Do it. Don't do it based on how you feel. Oh, my grew up on my... Do it based on the, what they say. Numbers don't lie. That's what they holler, right? Oh, I'm finna Ain't that what they holler? We about to see. And they always talk about John got out. He got six rings. Hey, if you give me, got you give me. We about to see. Come on, bro. If they change the route, if we play in the same sport and they change the game to help. How many, how many points did Kareem Abdul-Jabbar average? Here's what I've got for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, an all-time NBA average of 24.6 points per game. You, you, said, you, ask, you said ask. Do you even want me to ask him that? Do you even want me to ask what I'm about to ask? Look. Hold on. Hold he on. He is the all-time lead down. scorer in the NBA. You do know that, right? And How many points did Michael Jeffrey Jordan of the Chicago Bulls average? In the NBA. 30.12 points. According to Wikipedia, he holds the NBA records for career regular season scoring average, 30.12 points per game, and career playoff scoring average. Alright, this this the question. This is the end of this podcast. No, 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 no. He wanna run. No. He wanna run. Ask how many points Michael Jordan scored. How many he scored? Ask, ask it. You finna say who scored the most points? He missed two seasons, Who's nigga. Who's is that? He missed two whole years. Who's you wanna add that? two years of averaging 30 to that? Look, 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 look. Let's do that, Look, then. look, look. Look, no, you the can't nigga do missed that. Two years. He didn't play. You talking about somebody got hurt. Don't nobody wanna hear that. You gotta be out here. Ain't that what you just said? It ain't it's my different. fault he wanna, ah, oh, it's different. This nigga broke oh, his, it's different. He broke his ankle. <laughs> One year. They were hurt. You tell me, I, that nobody want to get out there and play. That was you. Ain't that what you just he said? They tried. They went let him. Oh man. They went let him. I don't want to hear that, man. They went let him play. I don't want to hear that. The Look. owners went let him play. That Mike Krause nigga, the Krause nigga, whatever his name is. Jerry Krause. Jerry Krause went let him play. Michael Jordan ain't the greatest man. I just looked. I just. You tell me, average? I mean, for a career, I mean, we just did. Who putting up the buckets? What's the NBA? Whoever scored the most points, right? That's who win the game, ain't it? In the NBA. Whoever scored the most points win, right? Kareem got more points all the time than Michael Jordan. Not per game, though. That just means he played more games than him. 
you got you got endurance. No, that just means he played more games than him. That's all that. How means. many rings Mike got? Six. How many Kareem got? How many he got? Six. Okay. He didn't average thirty though. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> That nigga averaged 24 points a game. Over <laughs> 20 years. Look. I'll wait. That nigga joined that. Let him rebound. Man, that nigga was 7-2. Look, that's it. You 7-2, you can't put but 24 points on the board. <laughs> that nigga got it. Hey, he 7-2. That's it. 24 he points. He got it. Nigga, I know nigga he right now. It. Nigga, I know, nigga, my nigga locked up. Lucas Bryan can put up 24 points a game, nigga, in the NBA. This nigga is yeah, he to play defense in the NBA right now. Big, tall, glasses, goofy nigga, tw 20. Uh, He's the all-time leading 24 sport. points a game. That he got shit, six nigga. rings. How many MVPs Mike got? Six, nigga. No, eight. No, he got eight. At least... Boom. How many MVPs does Michael Jordan have? Six. According to NBA.com, Michael Jordan won six NBA championships and six finals first? MVPs as a player. You can't argue with no none hooping niggas, man. You see what I'm saying? Look up niggas my be trying to look argue. Up my man. Look up how many Kareem got. He be trying to check, check back me. Look up how many Kareem got. And they tell my finals MVP. <laughs> We talking about record. How many team. MVPs does Kareem Abdul Jabbar have? Six MVP. According to Wikipedia, Legacy, Abdul Jabbar is the NBA's all time leading scorer with 38,387 points, and he won a league record six MVP awards. Your point? League record. I, I didn't say he didn't. Six. I didn't say he didn't okay. win six. Okay. You said Michael Jordan didn't win six. No, I didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, you did. You turned your neck up. I'm just saying. Boy, you would have changed history right there. You would have changed history right there, but I'm saying, though, you see what I'm getting at? Hey, man. Don't you got to check the facts on these niggas, because I said six, he talking about six. Yeah, nigga, six. And he played less games than Kareem. And might I add, Kareem had motherfucking Magic Johnson, nigga. I'll wait. How many MVPs in the regular season he got? You see it. That was that what they were talking about. They was talking about the finals when you looked it up. He got six. I didn't five. say finals. I, oh, we, we yeah, get your phone right. I'm sick of it. How many league MVPs does Michael Jordan have? Five times. According to Wikipedia, Michael Jordan. What's your point? One more. What they got to do with the point? Oh! What they got to do oh. with the point? The most valuable. We ain't say who the most valuable player. We was. talking about who the greatest, greatest to ever play the game. Yeah, the game is who win the game, nigga. Who won the game? You got to score the points to win the game. So Michael Jordan averaged the most points. He averaged the most points. He got the highest average. Nobody got a higher average. Nobody got more points than Kareem. He played long and he was taller than who everybody. He was taller than everybody. I'm just saying, fam. Look. Ooh. Hey, man. Look, man. We're going to let the people uh, call this debate. You know what I'm saying?